Rob. Hi, Mel. Hey, Mario. Hi, how are you? Yeah. We'll just wait a, a second or so to see if we get any one or two more people to join, and then I'll get started. Um, so I think we should start with just maybe telling me a bit about who you are and what your business is. So, Do you want to start? Uh, Go ahead, I'll, Leslie. I'll start. I uh, am the Director of Administration for Kathka Treatment Foster Homes, which uh, is a residential treatments uh, program licensed by the ministry, um, providing treatment foster care, which means not only a place to live, but also um, external supports like treatments, one-to-one uh, -one time counseling, various external supports that are there to support the placement. I used to support- Hopefully in the future, employment supports. We can connect. <laughs> yeah. Well, and absolutely, because it's a huge challenge for us. Yeah, for sure. And we have lots of free services that um, your foster children would benefit from. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Leslie, uh, sorry, Kathy. Uh, well, I'm the I'm the chair of Stonebridge Wasaga Beach Blues. Uh, it's uh, a not for profit that puts on an annual. Uh, uh, blues festival actually and, which is great uh, except except it's more like this will be the we won't be doing another one till 2022 uh just because the amount of logistics involved in putting one together you can't start uh until um until you really have almost a full year uh, to, uh of ramp to uh put it on yeah uh, so we're looking at 2022, but I'm also uh, in the meantime, I'm on the uh, the board for the Chamber of Commerce as well. Fantastic, fantastic. And to support me hugely yes, <laughs> as we go forward. <laughs> most definitely. Awesome. Um, and Rob? I, I uh, work with a company called Alta Vista Planning Partners. Um, and we are the exclusive advisor for the Chamber of Commerce benefit plan that they provide to the local members. So my awesome. territory is Wasaga, Clearview, um, Collingwood, and Blue Mountains. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead. I, it's showing me that there's someone in my waiting room. Am I supposed to let that person in? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, they didn't come in here, but I let, I let them in somewhere, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that, but okay. Um, I just wanted to start and thank you all for coming into this breakout session. Uh, the information that I'm providing for you will be mainly about em for employers, but I'll throw a few things about job seekers in there as well. The one thing I'm really, um, you know, excited about is that we have a chat button. So. Feel free at any time. If you have a question, throw it in the chat. I might not answer it right at that time, but I will, uh, when I pause for a few breaks, be able to answer the questions you, that you have. And any question is valuable. Um, so please uh, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Um, so my name is Melanie. I am an employment consultant slash job developer at Career Solutions in Wasaga Beach. And I have been doing this for seven years now. Uh, I've worn many hats in the office. We have a great crew. It's a very small crew, especially during COVID. Um, COVID right now, so we've remained as an essential service open during this time, but our doors have been closed. So we've had to adapt and be flexible and figure out a way to be able to continue providing the uh, ministry funded services to the people of the community uh, in very creative ways. So um, because not everybody has a cell phone, not everybody has a computer, um, so we've had to really adapt and be really flexible and come up with different ways of being able to uh, serve people in our community. So uh, with saying that, I wanted to touch base on uh, some money for employers, because money usually is a really good word around employers, especially during this recovery time with COVID. Um, so we're, today I'm gonna talk about one of our programs that are funded by the ministry, which is called uh, a wage incentive program. We call it the job matching placement incentive. So bear with me. I'm going to share my screen here with you. 
now that we've gone out of a different, um, just let me know that you can see my screen. Yep. Wonderful. Okay, so can everybody see the slideshow? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma awesome, yeah. awesome. And I was told to move this little guy over here. Actually, I think I can close it. Okay, so saving money on training new employees. So hiring and training incentives for employers. This program actually benefits both the employer and the job seeker, but right now we'll just talk about employers. A little bit about Career Solutions. So Career Solutions Corporation is pleased to provide a wide range of services to employers in Wasaga Beach and surrounding communities. Our services include Employment Ontario funded programs and services, including employment and training opportunities, a lot of different labor market information and prevailing wage rate information, as well as access to information on other provincially funded programming. So in saying that, um, we will have access to some, but we may not deliver some of those, like the Canada Ontario Job Grant, which is also a really great benefit for employers. Uh, we would just refer you to a, an Employment Ontario service provider that does provide that service. We used to, but we don't right now, you know, at the moment. So the following is a list of services we're happy to provide to employers and job seekers free of charge. So we have job posting and resume collection service. So basically, if you're an employer and you're really busy, which most employers are, um, we have a job posting template. We just send it off to you. You tell us what you're looking for and how you want to, you know, how many people you want to hire, what position, et cetera. Uh, we create a job posting and then we post it on all of our social media, on our website, which, by the way, our website is under construction right now. We're really excited for a new web website to launch, which I'm hoping will be this summer. Um, and we also do resume collection service. If you'd like to be, let's say, anonymous and not say who you are, uh, and you would like us to collect your resumes for you, we can do that as well. We offer job fair assistance and interview facilities. Keep in mind, we have to follow all COVID uh, regulations. Our doors are closed right now, but uh, when they do, uh, re things return to somewhat of our new norm, uh, we should be able to provide services again where you could do job fairs in our building, interviewing in our building, and so forth. Uh, we're going to talk about two wage subsidy um, and referrals to grants. Uh, we provide assistance in recruiting and HR services. So basically, if you have information on labor market or um, the labor board, WMIS, some type of like certification training, we'll be able to, if we don't have the answer, we try our best to find the answer for you. Does anybody have any questions so far? So if there was a question about our practices, for example, and how they comply with employment standards, you'd be able to help us with that? I'd be able to guide you in the direction of where you can get the answer. Okay. We don't, yeah, we are not, uh, people that are working directly with employment standards, but we know what they are and we can direct you to the answer the best that we can. Okay. So we're here to be support for employers. So our employer wage incentive program, some people are shouting, hey, I wanna know more about that. Um, the employer incentive program is a wage subsidy program funded by the Ministry of Labor, Training and Skills Development through Employment Ontario. This program is designed to match the skills and interests of individuals with employment opportunities and the employer's needs. So it encourages employers to hire eligible individuals to assist them with long term employment opportunities and with gaining new skills relevant to the marketplace. Career Solutions Employment Services offers you this program in the Wasega Beach, Collingwood, Stainer, Elmville, and surrounding areas. This is one of our most successful Employment Ontario programs and has been around for many years. Once local employers try this program, they continue to work with us again and again because they learn how very quickly this program will benefit everyone involved, meaning the job seeker who may have been, had trouble uh, finding employment for different reasons, and the employer may be um, you know, was having trouble filling the position with the requirements that they needed as well. Any questions so far? All right. 
So how does it work? So this program can help your business by providing a wage subsidy to offset the on the job training costs for a new employee because training a new employee takes time and it displaces another employee to focus and help the new employee learn the position. Uh, and that costs money. So incentives will vary depending on the complexity of the job skill level required and the length of training required. Uh, the incentives can be up to a maximum of $8,000 per person uh, per placement. The 8,000 is made up of a maximum of six for training incentives and an additional, and I'm just gonna quote the word, the number $2,000, for apprenticeship employer signing bonus, if applicable, they have actually just come out with a new apprenticeship incentive. And I'll get to that near the end of my PowerPoint. Um, so there has been a change. I believe the new number is actually $4,000 now, but I'm not 100% familiar on how to get the full 4,000 at this point. So I will direct anyone who's interested in learning more about apprenticeships, um, on where to get that information when we get to that slide. So depending on the individual you hire, they may be eligible for additional support to assist them with things like tools or clothing required for the job. Any questions on that? No? Okay. So should you participate in this program? So Clear Career Solutions is here to help match the skills and interests of job seekers with employment opportunities and employers' needs. Um, we want to help employers identify skills and competencies required. So sometimes when I, I have an employer will call and say, oh, I need a laborer. Okay, so what do you need him to do? Laboring stuff. So I'll actually look into the industry, do a little bit of homework, come up with some ideas for a job posting, send that back to the employer. They'll go, yay, nay, take that off, add that, that's great, whatever it is. And I've just saved them a lot of time because they are busy. So we do try and do that as much as possible. Uh, match employers' workplace job and needs with the client's ability. So we do our best to match. We want the placement to be successful. So we try our best to match uh, the workplace needs with the client's abilities. Assessment of employers' workplace capacity to provide a positive work experience and workplace training. So we do have to evaluate a little bit understanding that it will be a safe place and a positive work, uh, work experience for the placement itself. Um, arrange access to up to $8,000 in wage incentives to provide on the job training costs for qualified employers. And we'll get to what qualifies an employer shortly as well. Monitor and support the placement. So throughout the placement, I come by and do my little visit. During COVID, it was a little difficult, but depending on where you are, and if it's like, for example, a construction site, sometimes those are a little bit diffi more difficult to attend to. But for the most part, I'm going out in the field and I'm supporting the uh, client, the participant, and supporting the employer. For example, three weeks in and the employer's having some concerns, I will go there and I'll kind of be the mediator and discuss the issues with the participant have the, the employer come in and kind of share, you know, what's been happening, how they're feeling, and giving them a positive outcome on how to move forward. So giving that support uh, to both the employer and the client. Provide mentoring and coaching support during and after placement and contract administration. That's the big one, right, guys? No one has time to fill out paperwork. Uh, we do our best to make it really easy for you. We do our best to fill it as much of the blank spots that we can and send you pre-filled information um, in making it very easy for you. Employer eligibility. So here are the things that you need to, to have in order to be eligible for the wage incentive program. Uh, you need to be licensed to operate in Ontario compliant with legislation, so health and safety rules, employment standards, and so forth. Hold current WSIB or third-party general liability insurance. The placement it must be located in Ontario, uh, and as I said before, covered by appropriate safety insurance. Uh, ability to provide good training, 
fulfill terms of previous agreements, not hiring immediate family members of employers, officers, directors, and management staff, not receiving government funds from any other source for the same training placement, and job placements cannot displace existing staff or replace staff who are on layoffs. So if you've had some layoffs due to COVID, you have to hire your old staff back before you can have a placement and uh, person be hired on, okay? Any questions? All right. So the employer's commitments. This always comes up as a question um, when I speak with employers. So here are some commitments as an employer. Assist in developing a relevant work training plan. So in the beginning, when we create our training agreement, there's actually a portion in there that we talk about what your goals are for the employee uh, and what your training outcome expectations are. So those are set right at the beginning of the placement. Provide feedback and assessment. So every month I do an assessment. So I have a new perform an evaluation. Is the person punctual? Did they show up for work? Um, are they attaining the learning outcomes expected for that time period? And then we sign off on that each month. Um, provide potential for long-term employment for the participant. So that is the goal. The goal is for a long-term placement um, for the participant because it saves you from having to retrain another person again. Provide adequate supervision and training. That's pretty straightforward. Place the participant on company payroll and provide same employment terms as regular employees. So this is part of the commitment. You would be have them on as an employee. All the same rules apply um, as terms of employee according to employment standards and labor laws. So benefits of this program. We all know how expensive it is to bring on and train a new employee. By using this program to hire, you may qualify to offset some of your onboarding costs by having a good portion of the new hire wages covered under this program. So this is a big savings to you and your organization and also gives an individual looking for a work a great opportunity. So our objective is to help individuals who, for example, have the training but no practical experience yet or perhaps they have the skills but no formal training to gain a foothold in the workplace. So the hope is that we will create a great match for both the individual job seeker and the employer and that permanent employment will be the end result. Keep in mind that this is not an obligation. However, if things do not work out for some reason, and in some cases we may even place individuals knowing that they will not be permanent, but it will give the individual on the job experience, they need to make them more employable in the future. So if it doesn't work out, that's okay. Uh, we do try and replace if we can, um, with someone that's a better match for you because in the real world, these things happen. So each, each situation is treated individually to create the best outcome possible for everyone, the employer and the job seeker. So do you have an apprenticeship opportunity? So this is very new. Um, so bear with me a little bit. I will do my best if you have questions to answer them. If not, we can connect afterwards later in the week and I can get the information that you, you do require. So Ontario employer supports. So employers who train apprentices may be eligible for grants to help mitigate the cost of training. So the Achievement Incentive and Group Sponsorship Grant will help more employers take on apprentices to build Ontario's apprenticeship and skilled trades pipeline. So Achievement Incentive is a grant program that helps employers train apprentices by reducing some of the cost of training, supports apprentice progress by giving grant payments to employers when their apprentices reach major milestones, and the program offers up to $4,000 to eligible employers when apprentices meet training and certification milestones. So previous to, to um, covid it was a $2,000 uh, signing bonus. You would get the first upon re like registering as an apprentice, starting the apprentice was the first $1,000 that we would have you sign for. And then at the end, 
if you've kept them on six months after the placement ended, um, then they would give you the other thousand. Now this is a new grant program. From what I understood earlier when I was doing some um, research, it's a milestone approach. So it, it's in increments based on levels. So there is a website, www.ontario.ca, hire an apprentice. If you are interested in learning more about that, if not, I can always look things up later on and tell you more about that. Um, additional supports. A lot of people do not know this. We have client support dollars available, up to 500 per qualifying client may be available and can be used to support employment. So things, for example, if you hire somebody on and they don't have enough money for gas to get to an interview or to work, um, we can offer some supports for gas or a bus pass, uh, work clothing, um, if you need safety shoes, things like that, certifications, short-term courses like first aid, uh, workplace safety, uh, emergency or infrequent childcare, uh, if someone needs some language skills assessments or academic credential assessments, we can help with that. Short-term training costs such as books and materials, uh, workplace safety, and then supplies and equipment. So how do I get started? So simply contact our office at 705-429-5543, extension 21 will get you to the main desk uh, to discuss your staffing needs and register as an employer. So let us assist you with your hiring needs. It's easy, we do all the work so you don't have to. And there we go. I think I have to, can you see me now? No, we are no, no. sharing your screen. Am I back now? Yeah. Well, I think if you turn your video on, you'll be back now. Thank you, Leslie. Anytime. I, I, I am more familiar with Teams, so Zoom yeah. is a little new for me. Well, and, so, the, and, and one of the differences that we found with Zoom versus Teams, and it's it's an interesting challenge is that Teams requires everyone to share their emails. Yes. Whereas in Zoom, you can do it anonymously. So for yes. our foster parents who don't want everyone to know their email addresses, yes. Zoom works better for us for things like in-service training and that kind of thing. Although yes. for Teams, when we're working as a, a cohesive group in the office, Teams works wonderfully and yes. options that Zoom doesn't. So it's interesting to see that there are different technologies that fit different applications. Sometimes I'm just for my clients, just doing Facebook Messenger video, because for them, that's easy. There's no logging in, passwords, and all don't have things. an iPhone. Sorry? Unless you don't have an iPhone. Like I have a husband who, yeah. does not use, who does not have Apple at all. And all of the rest of us as a family have Apple, but he's insistent that the proprietary nature of Apple is not what he wants to be involved <laughs> in, right? So, so he uses Skype. So, That's okay. Yeah. I would figure out Skype then for him, yeah. or I would do it over the phone. I'm yeah. very flexible. I'm adaptable. Um, did that show you guys anything new that interested you? I think maybe things have changed because I have to tell you that Career Solutions helped us find one of the most valuable employees that we have at Cape Cod. Thank goodness. I was, I was gonna ask, what's, what's one of your most recent success stories? Well, it's not necessarily recent. She joined us in 2016 probably, and she has to be one of the most valuable assets to our organization right now. At the same time, I reached out to Career Solutions in the middle of pandemic shutdowns and stuff, and I'm waiting for a response. So I've had mixed connections recently with you. Okay. Um, because we were trying, one of the things that we struggle with all of the time is finding treatment support workers who are CYW specifically, who are able to work directly with our kids and 
we're looking for any opportunities to identify individuals. And I registered as an employer and I never got a response back. Well, you will this week. So I think there's- Now that I know. There may have been some issues with your website. Oh, our website doesn't work. Did you reach through us with the website? Yeah. The, reg- the, the website is, that's why we're, we, we're revamping the website. Um, well, I'm so partly good. because the last time I, I reached out to Career Solutions, Carol was still working. Carol, yes. So I had that direct contact, right? But yes. now I didn't have that. Maria. You have a new contact. Now I do now. Absolutely, I do now. Awesome. So yeah, I will definitely reach out to you and we will get whatever you need started. Mm-hmm. It is a challenge right now, I'll be honest. But what's really great is the students just came out of school. So uh, college. Yeah, and we're okay. still looking. Um, but we never actually as an employer qualified for any of the incentives. Not for profit. No. And uh, and, and we're not a not for profit. You're not a not for profit. Okay. Is there a reason why? I don't know. know. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at that when we're talking one on one then. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You can expect a call from me this week. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Sorry, you had a question, Kathy? Uh, I just had a comment because uh, you, you, you might be helpful. Um, I, uh, we have a, a position uh, within uh, the chamber that um, we're funded for a uh, summer, um, summer uh, Canada summer jobs. For, um, Canada summer jobs, yep. For um, a, uh, a marketing uh, student, uh, somebody okay. within a marketing and communications uh, vein. Um, okay. And right now, um, I, I just finished sending uh, a, a posting to uh, uh, Georgian College, and they were posting it sure. in their uh, net, network yeah. for the their, for their marketing students. Um, but uh, it like said this just happened this weekend that we posted that with them. Okay. So, um, I haven't got any feedback from it yet, um, but okay. that might be something that we might want to go a little further abroad. <laughs> Um, the only reason that uh, it makes sense that if, if we can ideally get someone from there is because um, the project that we're going to have them working on is the, uh, um, was the Chamber uh, 2022 uh, Visitor Information Guide. Okay. And that is also going to be, uh, was offered up to Georgian College to be able to use the designing of it as a project. Uh, a project for their fall students. Fantastic idea. So, so if yeah. we got somebody from within there, within the organization that's probably already gone through their first year, has more yeah. of an idea of where it, where the students are going to take it in the fall, they're going to do a lot of the prep work to make sure it's actually we're actually ready to hand it over to them. That's right. So ideally, it would be uh, we would have somebody from there, but if that isn't going to happen then I, I don't want to wait too, too long and run out of time to be able to hire somebody. We're only, um, our funding from Canada's uh, summer jobs is only for an eight week period. Yeah. But if you get a student, well, they're going to be in, in school in the fall. So students don't qualify for be a student this year. Though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, um, Canada's summer jobs changed it for this year anyway. And it just has to be somebody um, up to the age of 30. It doesn't okay, have to yeah. be a student. Okay. Um, uh, on, on our end, we couldn't piggyback the, the Canada grants. Yeah. So, um, but it might, might be coming to you in the, in the sense of even just uh, job posting postings job post. on our social media. We can send your blurbs out on social media. Right. And Ivan and I will take a look at our caseloads. Right. and see if they, we have anybody that is suitable for the position. Right. Um, I always suggest to employers, do your best to put a wage on there, even if it's a range. Um, yeah. We just find that those postings get more success than ones that don't have any right. uh, wage on it. Right. Um, and, so and, is there and, a way, once the summer job posting of eight weeks has expired, that we could potentially tack on or 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 opt into sort of the wage incentives if the marketing position were to extend? No, because you can't already be employed. 